Hey YouTube, I'm Nick from Nick282K and today I'm going to take a look at this 600mm fixed f8 mirror lens from Sigma. Now the biggest advantage of a mirror lens over a standard refractive lens is the size and weight. This lens weighs only about two pounds and fits in your backpack in place of a secondary camera. I got it from uh, Craigslist for about a hundred bucks giving you a saving of several thousand dollars over a standard refractive lens. The only downfall to these lenses is they're not as good at resolving an image as a standard refractive lens. If you keep that in mind and weigh against it the price of a standard refractive lens, this is a really valuable tool for uh, an amateur photographer. I'm going to show you some test footage and uh, you can be the judge. Although you couldn't see it, this boat was actually in the background of that last scene. The 1.5 times crop factor on my video camera turns this 600mm lens into a 900mm lens. That's practically a telescope that you can bring with you on your daily shooting. Although it wasn't immediately apparent in that first shot, this is the polarizing feature about mirror lenses. Instead of nice round bokeh blobs that you see with a standard refractive lens, you get bokeh rings because of that plastic plug in the middle of the front element. Some people really like this feature and other people just can't stand it. It's really up to your own personal preference. I find in some situations it can be distracting, but in cases like this, it can be very interesting. In cases like this, where your subject is not separated very much from the background, you'll find that those rings are more prominent and it gives some uh, harsh edges to uh, straight lines that are out of focus. You can resolve this by trying to get your subject a little farther away from the background or by trying to avoid backgrounds that have a lot of specular points or uh, harsh straight lines. Here the subject is very well separated from the background and the background itself is very plain. This eliminates most of the characteristic bokeh rings that you get with mirror lenses. Taking a look at some of the still images, we're uh, starting to see some of the downfalls to these mirror lenses. The first is that reduced resolving power. Images aren't perfectly razor sharp and they're not a hundred percent clear. There's also a very narrow depth of field, making it hard to get things in focus. If you keep those limitations in mind and uh, try to reduce them in, with post work by reducing the resolution slightly, sharpening images, and uh, hand touching up in some places, this lens makes some pretty incredible photos. The uh, ring bokeh effect really makes it stand out compared to most lenses that you'll encounter. For around $100 plus the cost of an adapter to fit this lens onto whichever uh, camera system you happen to be using, you basically get a portable handheld telescope that has reasonable quality for video and uh, half decent quality photos, but uh, with the portability of a standard lens. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you check out some of my other photography related videos on my channel. Thanks for watching.